Hey guys, welcome back to Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis in the studio with my partner in crime, Dana Ward. Hello. And we have a big treat because joining us all the way from Canada is the cast of Degrassi. We have, of course, Monroe. Welcome back to the studio. Thank you. And for the first time ever, Alicia and Justin. Welcome Hello. to Hollywood, guys. <laughs> it's a party here. <laughs> party. So I feel like we need to kick this off first by congratulating you. You took home a couple of big awards last night. Yep. Yeah. Right? The Canadian Screen Awards. What did you win? Uh, Phil Earnshaw, one of our directors, mm -hmm. she, he won for a great episode that he did. Um, Melinda Shankar, not for Degrassi, but for another show she, okay. she took mm -hmm. home. And Degrassi won for Best Children Program. That's a big deal. Mm -hmm. Congrats, Congrats, guys. Thank you. So Thank we're you. excited to have you here, especially on the heels of a much talked about episode. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I'm sure that a lot of our viewers who are fans of the show already know what we're talking about, but the show always deals with very hot topics and issues that really affect teens. How did this particular episode about suicide kind of hit home for you guys and for your viewers from what you've heard? Um, it was a really hard episode to shoot and it was really hard to tackle because we, we like to bring issues that um, kids go through and unfortunately this mm -hmm. is a serious one and it's, it's really touchy, but we want to go there and we want to make it known that the best thing to do in these situations is talk. And that mm -hmm. was one thing for Cam Everett, played by Dylan. Um, what he needed to do was really talk about his issues. And it, we got some great responses, and we really wanted to show them that we're here for them as, like, as characters yeah. and cast on the yeah. show. Um, and I think the way that Degrassi did the writers and the way that it was shot was beautiful and tastely done. Mm -hmm. And this is really going to be something that affects your character in a serious way, which we're going to see throughout the season, right? Mm -hmm. um, Eli, he walked upon him uh, after the incident and for him it hits home because he w found his ex-girlfriend before he joined the show there's a character named Julia mm -hmm. which he never saw but she died and he found her and she got hit by a car so it, a lot of stuff's coming back to him so it's gonna yeah. see how he deals with it and you're also gonna see other characters like Ricardo and you saw with um, Demetrius's character mm -hmm. Dallas how he thought it was his fault, and other people like Maya, the girlfriend, and even people in in the um, school that they didn't know him. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's still, it, it's such a, it just it kind of it sinks you down, mm -hmm. and it hit, hits hits you home no matter who you are. Exactly. And so we're just trying to shed light on the people it affects, and how how they react. And yeah. are we going to see it with the other characters being affected by this? Is it going to kind of swing? There's mo yeah, there's definitely moments, and I think that's what was really important about um, about the episode was, and continuing on throughout the, the episodes to come was uh, tackling this issue that you know, like Monroe said, it's a very it's a very intense issue, and the most important thing for us to do was to do it as responsibly as possible, and uh, yeah, you you see you see it through different characters. Each character has their own way of dealing with it. I mean, it was you know Jake, it was his garden. And, and you know, it's it, there's that thought of, what if it was me? You know, mm -hmm. uh, it was it was my friend Eli, but it could it could have easily happened to me. I could have been there at the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, but yeah, yeah. I think. And that's kind of what I liked about the episode is that how they how the people dealt with it afterwards because mm -hmm. it's so real. Like everyone deals with death and suicide differently. You know, mm -hmm. you see. Um, characters going through anger and you know depression and like people saying oh it's my fault and then remember Becky had that one line saying like oh he's, oh, he's yeah. selfish right. like you know it's a selfish thing to do so everyone kind of deals with it differently you know and I felt like that was just so real and I love how they yeah. they, mm -hmm. they put that mm -hmm. out there yeah and I hate to like switch it up a little bit mm -hmm. but let's speak a little bit about the happier things yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <absolutely>. yeah. <laughs> shall we go there we shall go <laughs> there yeah, um, let's go to the happy place <laughs> so alicia yeah. bianca and drew mm -hmm. a lot of happiness is in the air you guys are engaged yeah. what are we going to be seeing this season um will there be a marriage a white dress, yes. a wedding <laughs> etc i want the wedding to happen i've always been like a Dronka lover. Dronka. Dronka. <laughs> you get drunk of Dronka. <laughs> it's so smooth. It's that yeah. good. <laughs> it's that yeah, good. good. <laughs> but um, no, there's not going to be a wedding. We saw what happened in in Vegas. Um, but you know, th they really love each other. So I think that they're going to stick it out and and just keep their engagement. And then we'll see what happens in the future. Um, you know, Bianca's graduating, and uh, Drew is staying back. 
for another year um, because he failed. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> <laughs> academic problem. Because yeah. he failed. Because he failed. Yeah. So um, you see, like in the next couple episodes, um, you'll see Bianca trying to help him out with that, and mm. and uh, yeah. So fingers crossed, and hopefully they get to <laughs> stay together forever. So since there's so much love in the air, is that going to like transfer on with other characters and other relationships? Are we going to see a lot more love or? Is there a trouble in paradise? <laughs> so Isn't there paradise? always? Yes. Yeah. Um, I think there's a couple of relationships that bloom. Mm -hmm. that, um, bloom? That <laughs> there's bloom. also some breakups. Mm -hmm. You know? There's there's a couple of breakups. There's At a couple the end of, of uh, the season. Yeah, that's yeah. true. There's mm -hmm. there, you know how relationships are in high school. Like when you when you have people who are going to graduation, some of them graduate, some of them don't. They have to deal with that and be like, I'm going on to move on with my life. Are they going to stay together? Um, do they kind of push to the next level, like marriage mm -hmm. and other mm -hmm. stuff? Um, and then sometimes you just gotta stand up and sing for the person you love. And just be like, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> well, what about with Jake? We haven't even touched upon Jake. What's happening this oh, season? Wow. What can we anticipate? Um, <clears throat> well, as, as we left off with Jake mostly was after the Vegas episode mm -hmm. that aired. And things mm -hmm. didn't go too well with him and Katie. Uh, <laughs> And uh, yeah, and even even as you know, the two episodes that just aired about the suicide, you know, he was he was in a place where he wasn't really talking to her, and you know, so I mean, we'll have to wait and see how they kind of decide to carry on. Like, is it something that you know, do they still really like each other? Is it still there? Because the breakup was kind of, you know, uh, me, I was rooting for them to obviously get back together through that, but uh, yeah, it's just something, you know. I, I believe that Jake still has those feelings, and we'll see what he has to. I think, well, I think lots of we'll see, we'll right? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. No. I know. I know. And, and speaking about relationships on the show, I feel like we need to. We were talking about building like a whiteboard that covers a whole wall just to sort of oh, make yeah. a family tree of Keep like trash with yeah. who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How um, do you? <laughs> who would you like to see together on the show? If you could couple up two people. A couple of people. Yeah. Um, like match made in heaven. You know, I like to see how uh, Dallas and Ali continue their. Uh, yeah. Thing. Yeah. I, see that. Mm -hmm. um, I think Dallas like Dallas is funny. <laughs> I, I, I love that his character, by the way, Dimitri Shoyet's character, Dallas. Um, and you're gonna see a couple of things coming up in the future episodes that are so surprising and so amazing. The storylines are so good. But Dallas, I just feel like he's like he's a player, and I, I love that he's a player. I like him to keep that bad boy. Um, Exterior, like he has that raw inside, and like how he, he really is compassionate. But mm. I like that he screws people. I like that. I kind of. I feel like. I feel like. I feel like he can be like that grade twelve that dates the grade nine. Everyone's like, no, 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 don't do that. And, but like, he will, and he'll do that. And I feel like he should just be that person. I love. I love that character. And the but, show has tackled so many issues. Also, what would you like to see the show sort of cover? down the line that hasn't already. I mean, it was crazy. Today we were just like rereading the character bios. And for example, with Bianca, the things that she has already been through, I can't mm. even imagine most people Poor girl. going through in multiple <laughs> lifetimes. So where do we go from here? Yeah. It's almost like, what have we not tackled? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what we're yeah. thinking. Like yeah. after the suicide episode, I'm like, Degrassi's done it all now, yeah. you know? Seriously. Like, well, that, that really. was like the one thing yeah. that you guys hadn't really taken on yeah. in this current in the, in the current Degrassi, yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. they did it in like the 80s. Mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know what else they could talk about. I feel like they could do. I, I want them to do more parties. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think because house parties are hilarious and that's like yeah. a really big thing in um, in high school. Mm -hmm. And they, they were starting to touch on them a little bit. Like mm -hmm. there's, there's a couple there, but I don't know. Only time will tell. Only Only time time another will yeah. have to see. Yeah. Another we will have to see what happens. So since you guys are such an awesome mm -hmm. ensemble cast, are there any actors who you love to hang with, like in your downtime, who you haven't had a scene with yet, who you or, or, or a really intimate scene, I should say, mm -hmm. that you would like to see happen? This, this one. I know. <laughs> we've actually been saying this forever. When we first joined okay. the show. Yeah. Let, tell him. You tell can, him you, I've been talking too much. You go. No, no, no. Go. Oh, I want you to say it. You say it so well. Go. Okay. <laughs> this one. Um, this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, okay. Uh, Bianca, Eli. When they first joined the show, Bianca was this drug selling bad girl with, with <laughs> hip hop shoes. And <laughs> yeah. e Eli was the bad boy guy, reject, like reject, who didn't care about anybody who liked to screw with people. I thought we were gonna get together, yeah. but no. She goes for the jock, like king, prom king kind of guy. I go for the girl who likes to read and dates everybody and then breaks up with them. 
And <laughs> it was just the funniest thing, but we always thought that our characters were gonna get yeah. together. We never really had scenes. I had like two scenes where they were like mm -hmm. on, on a, we, like we went to a concert together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I never spoke to her ever. Yeah. And then we went to the cabin where there was like the horror, the horror special. Yep. Never talked to her either. Didn't know one line. And then me and him, all we do is get high together. It's true. <laughs> I'm not characters, joking. Jake started finding this really funny thing, and I'm so, you know what, I'm really happy that the writers decided, because we just had a lot of fun with it. Yeah. Um, uh, it's the rollerblades, man. Oh, bleeding! Oh, no, bleeding! You talk about it. his love with stuff, like like what characters? Yeah. Like, and Katie? No, no, no one with Trump is Gardens love and high. Oh Gardens. yeah, yeah, yeah. Gardens, yeah. And rollerblades. Totally. It's simple though, and I, I, and I, it's simple but folk. it's simple. But that's the thing with all the stuff that goes on the, in Degrassi. I like that little hint of simplicity, and just like with with everything that's going on, Jake's somewhere <laughs> just eating chicken, chicken and smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's wearing rollerblades. Uh, well, see, he figured out the way to get through Degrassi. You just smoke weed, you'll be fine. He's like, he yeah. never goes through so many. He's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. Well, um, before we wrap this up, we got to know what's coming up down the pipeline. Mm -hmm. Give us some little snippets of info for this season on Degrassi that we have to look forward to. Because last mm -hmm. time you were here, you were talking about something is going to happen that has never happened on the show before. And that which just is, happened. So what can we look forward to seeing coming up? Well, you're gonna see you're gonna see the after effect of yeah. this situation, mm -hmm. and you're gonna see how the characters deal with them. You're gonna see denial. You're gonna see anger. You're gonna see sadness, um, and then you're gonna we're gonna, if you're gonna see drugs. Uh, mm -hmm. There's yes. gonna be there's gonna be strong drugs that are gonna be thrown around. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> you remember. I remember that. Uh, you're gonna have we're gonna have a graduation and a prom. Yeah. And what else? I was just gonna say. Graduation. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. graduation. Just cut that out. You. Yeah. I think I think the I think. So the I didn't say. I didn't say. I was. I think I think the main thing, uh, um, which I think was done really well uh, with with the actors and, and the writing, especially too, um, was you know you have these these characters in the, in the school that has undergone such a tragedy, and I think the best part is you know uh, finding their way to deal deal through it together, and then with that you know finding a way to push forward, and when the prom and the graduation there's a way there's kind of that that happiness of you know. Unity. This has happened. Yeah, it's it's a kind of a unity, and, and we have our own community and mm -hmm. grind. But <laughs> work it. But you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, it, and I think that's that was done really well with with everyone. So it's, I think it's gonna be really strong. The last few episodes. Very cool. Favorite episode coming up. Coming up. Real quick. Coming up. Yeah. Um. My favorite episode, of, like um, that's coming up. A little selfishly, but it's not this episode. What's well, the, the next two episodes coming up? They were a lot of fun for myself to shoot. Mm -hmm. If I'm speaking, and also Palm was good. Yeah, yeah Palm was fun. What was your favorite? Um, it's kind of a blur. The last, <laughs> yeah. The last twelve the last episodes. 12. Oh, yeah, how could be a blur? <laughs> we haven't shot him in like three weeks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really, but no, the grad, <laughs> the prom episode, and the graduation episode was a lot of fun to shoot. It was really sad. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of tears on mm -hmm. set, but. Uh, Mm -hmm. I didn't cry. I didn't cry. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't oh, yes, you did. Oh yes, you did. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> and so, so I know. Speaking, you? speaking a little, you know, selfishly too. Uh, Jake and Mo have this friendship that mm -hmm. just blossoms into something mm -hmm. hilarious. And like a full-on bromance. Like a full-on bromance, and and then it. we have like, you know, and then you know, Eli and Jake have something where even in season eleven we were clashing. We. But, and then it turns into, okay, we have this trauma, let's just hang out and roll a blade and eat popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be some really life. some really sweet moments. Very cool. Yeah. Well, you guys, thank you so much for stopping oh, by. Yeah, thank thank you. you. It's always a pleasure having you come on down to Hollywood. You're welcome anytime. Yeah, please. <laughs> and keep us posted on the Palumbo family. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're on to something here. Pre-production. Yes. Yeah. Pre-production. Yeah. Exactly. Pre exactly. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching Clever TV. Make sure to stick with us for all the latest on Degrassi. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. See ya.